Hello gatekeepers and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all how I keep my house clean, tidy, organized 90 to 95% of the time with children, with small children, without losing my mind. Okay, so first things first, you need to ask yourself this question. You need to ask yourself, who am I cleaning for? Today, we got the handy dandy notebook because I want to stay on track. I want to make sure that I mention some things that I want to mention. So you need to ask yourself, who am I cleaning for? And once you ask yourself that question, your entire mindset is going to shift. Your perspective is going to change. And so there was a point in my mothering, uh, maybe I'll say three years ago. I had to stop and I had to ask myself, I'm like, who am I cleaning for? And I need to just revamp my entire mindset because I felt frustrated and I felt like I was just cleaning all day. And I was like, I know that there's a better way. I don't want to continue in this way because this is frustrating. This is stressful. I don't want my children to associate housemaking and, and responsibility with frustration. So I'm like, I need to... I need to I need to get it together. So when I asked myself that question, my my mindset completely changed. My perspective was completely different. And so begin with asking yourself, who am I cleaning for? My answer was was this. First of all, I am a Christian woman. I am a Christian mother. I love the Lord with everything that I am. And I believe that the Bible is inerrant and that is my guide. And so the Bible tells me in everything that you do, everything, <laughs> brushing your teeth, wiping your butt, <laughs> whatever it is that you do, you do it heartily as unto the Lord. You, you, you work hard, you work diligent, diligently, and you do it as if you're doing it unto the Lord. And so I remember before when I would read this Bible verse, like my mindset was just like, just because I asked these type of questions because I'm that person. I'm just like, but like, what is it? Why does it matter to him? <laughs> like, like, what is it? What does it do for God that if if I'm working heartily and keeping my house clean? Anyway, that's a that's a whole other side tangent. But that's what I believe. I believe that the work that I'm doing here at home, the work that I'm privileged to do, that it's like. I don't, I'm not just doing it. I get to do it. I get to do all these things for my family. Um, I do it. I do it diligently, I do it excellently, and I do it as if I'm doing it for God himself. And secondly, for my family, what type of atmosphere do you want in your house? For me, I was like, I want the atmosphere in my home to be peace. P-E-A-C-E, -E, beautiful, sweet peace. I want peace in my home, and that comes with not having a mess and having clutter and constantly being frustrated and stressed out and cleaning every single day. Like there's not peace in that. If you can find peace in that, you're awesome. I cannot find peace in that. What type of atmosphere do you want in your home? What type of environment do you want to raise your children in? You know, what type of mindsets do you want your children to begin to start creating um, while watching you and watching how you do things and and hearing how you say things when you're doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like kids are sponges. They are so extremely bright. And as the, as the homemaker, as the faithful homemakers of our home, uh, we have to do these things diligently as unto the Lord for our family. Because it's like, man, like this is my family. I, I don't want chaos in my home. I don't want a chaotic house. I want when my children are, are here in the home and when my husband wakes up and my children wake up, it's just, it's peaceful, you know, it's peaceful. Like this is our home and, and that's what I wanted to create in my home. So before I get into like specifics and how to's and just some tips and stuff for you to try, I just really wanted to drive that point where it's just change your perspective, change your mindset. And I really think that that would help you in the one million five thousand hundred things that you have to do in your day where it's just like i'm doing this for the lord i'm doing this for my family because i love them and i'm taking care of them and this is my responsibility this is my joy this is my job this is my privilege to do this for them so 
start there <laughs> okay now i'm just gonna give like seven basic how to's how to accomplish this how to keep your home tidy and organized and clean with little kids because it's not always easy especially if you have multiple kids because that means multiple people in different areas of the of the house doing different things at different times you know like i've been there mult many times where i say i uh I don't know say I clean the bathroom or something and then I went upstairs and I'm doing some this and I come down and then it just looks like an art exhibit just exploded in my bathroom and I'm like why is there paint on the toilet and on the floor and 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 like footprints of paint on the floor and tissue stuck to the wall and like blue water in the toilet and like paint on the doorknob like what just happened in the five seconds that i just went upstairs <laughs> like i have stories i have many many stories and so i've been there i i i know and i feel the frustration i know where you've been and i've been there myself and i would like to help you get to a better more simple more stress more stress-free way of doing things and bringing your children in into that and along for the ride one tip would be every single morning make your bed and same thing for your kids every single morning when i wake up i roll my big self out of the bed and i fix my bed i fix my pillows i put my little throw pillows i put my blanket i put my throw blanket and ah uh, so beautiful my bed is fixed look at that my room is clean love it i thought one of my kids woke up and so teach your children to do the same thing so all my kids are in the same room they have a huge room there's bunk beds um two girls the two boys and i've taught them how to fix their bed every morning so the girls are pretty much perfect at it at this point the boys are like it, it, it's fixed and it's good but it's not like the hot tug you know but it's good like he valor fixed his bed honor so cute one years old he fixed his little bed put his little pillow and his doggy and his little blanket thrown in the middle and so their beds are fixed so awesome look at that you guys room is clean that is like one of the best ways to start your day where it already feels clean or it's like okay cool things that like we slept in our beds all night we wake up and we we fix our beds another tip would be do one load of laundry every single day i've had so many conversations with multiple different moms and they always tell me man thank you for sharing this tip with me like it's it's helped me so much i could transform their entire like hate for laundry because <laughs> i know so many people hate laundry they hate either the act of it or they hate the folding or they hate the putting away and it's like it doesn't have to be that way so i would encourage you do one load of laundry every single day like for me one load of laundry every single day has helped me tremendously because there's seven people no there's six people in our house about to be seven there's six people in our house so say we all took a bath that day that's seven shirts seven pants seven undies seven pairs of socks if we wore socks uh like that that's a whole load of laundry already and so anyway doing one load of laundry a day from start to finish so not just that that's the easy part anybody can just throw clothes in the washer put your soap in and then it's clean no like start to finish get the load in there take the load out put it in the dryer go to your bed or wherever you fold fold it organize it put it away and laundry is done for the day you can say bye-bye to piles of laundry you could say bye-bye to laundry day because laundry day would be daunting like think about it like oh my gosh you have weeks or <laughs> however long people let their laundry pile up weeks or maybe just a week or maybe a couple weeks oh my gosh I, that just makes me want to like fall over thinking about it <laughs> but you have weeks worth of laundry like that's a whole like that's a whole mountain that you have to get through and realistically most of the time it doesn't get taken care of because it's just too much and you have other stuff to do so it's not realistic to have a specific or well, well, let me not say it's not realistic mm, no let me say that <laughs> it's not realistic to have just a laundry day because then 
because your day has to be fully dedicated to that if you're going to finish. And if that works for you, that's cool. That's awesome. But I specifically don't want to spend an entire day doing laundry. I have much better things to do. I have my little babies I want to spend time with, my husband I want to spend time with, and all these other things I don't want to just spend doing laundry all day. So doing one load a day literally will transform your entire laundry schedule i promise you if you don't do this and after watching this video you decide to do it like let me know in the comments right now say i'm gonna try that for a week if you do please let me know how that week went for you i i genuinely want to know because for me once i started implementing that tip i was just like blown away i was like wow this is like so awesome like this is so simple and you involve your children in it and you're done in like five minutes because it's one load of laundry and so we're like all right let's separate justice find your clothes victory find your clothes valor find your clothes honor for honor my one year i'm he's he has to be like an entire separate video he he's like four years old He's like so helpful. Anyway, I, like I said, that's a whole other video. Honor, find your clothes. I'll find mine. I'll find my honeys. And let's fold it. So we'll grab our shirt. We'll fold it. We'll find our undies. We'll fold it. We'll find our bottoms, socks, whatever the case was. And all right, now everybody take it to their room. Everybody takes it to their room. They put it in the place where it belongs. And laundry is done for the day. So I hope that tip helps you. Another tip. Ooh, this one's a big one keep your kitchen clean like that for me if my kitchen is dirty like my whole life is over <laughs> just kidding but i feel it so deeply when my kitchen is dirty because you you spend most as a mom you spend most of your day in the kitchen because you're cooking breakfast and then you're serving a snack and then you're cooking lunch and then you're serving a snack and then you're cooking dinner and then you're giving another snack and then you're in there for yourself late at night having your little snacks you know what i'm saying so you're in the kitchen most of the day you have to get into the habit of just cleaning up after you do something so it's like don't go to sleep not going to sleep with your kitchen dirty especially having to wake up to a dirty kitchen and then having to cook breakfast for your family Oh my gosh, like that's oh, like the thought is like so much stress because like you want to go down there and everything's dirty. Um, and then if the kids want to help you, it's just like you're already irritated. You're like just already irritated because everything's dirty. And so eliminate all that by making sure before you go to sleep every single day that your kitchen is clean. You know, your dishes are cleaned. Your counters are wiped down. Everything's in its place and ready for you in the morning to cook a beautiful, healthy breakfast for your family. And a pro tip <laughs> would be after every single meal because it's so much easier that way. It's like, okay, cool. Um, my mom taught me this when, and it wasn't even taught like, Mandy, do this. It was just more like me um, observing her um, where while, while she was cooking, she was simultaneously cleaning at the same time. So I just naturally adapted that into, into my, into my cleaning habit where it's like, okay, um, I'm cooking and I'm simultaneously cleaning at the same time so that when I'm not, when I'm done cooking, there's not just this, oh my gosh, what just exploded in the sink, but I was already handling things while things were cooking. And so, after after so say i cook this big breakfast which we always have the biggest blown out breakfasts every like almost every single day afterward it's like everybody knows everybody knows what they have to do you know and so it's like after after we finish everybody takes their plate whatever they didn't finish the discard of it throw it in the garbage put your plate your utensils your cups put it in the sink um, push your chair in, wipe down your spot on the table, go wash your hands. That's what my children's responsibility is. And then for me, as they're doing that, I'm just there cleaning the dishes. And it's so much easier because you already just like sprayed everything down and you just, you give it a, give it a little washing, rinse it dry, and then it's done. And then you guys can go upstairs and you have a clean, you have a clean kitchen. And then when you come back down for lunch, it's like, all right, what are we having for lunch? And repeat and a repeat for dinner. And I feel like that um, eliminates the stress too, because it's like every time you enter your kitchen, um, it's clean and it's, it's ready for you. It's like so welcoming. It's like your kitchen just like hugs you and it's like, 
let's do this let's make a wonderful meal for our family <laughs> you know and so i also hope that those tips help okay this one is a good one have a weekly cleaning routine because i remember at times finding myself just like cleaning all the time and then at night i'd just be sitting there like am i supposed to be cleaning all day like is that the extent of my existence like just sitting not i'm not sitting just walking around all day cleaning stuff you know i was just like okay something something's wrong like if you're cleaning all day like something's wrong something needs to be changed because you're not supposed to be cleaning all day you have other things to do you have your amazing children that you have to spend time with and do things with and your husband and and all these other things you cleaning all day that means that something needs to something needs to happen something needs to be shifted and so when i started our weekly cleaning routine that really helped because i'm like okay like there's a designated day for everything so mondays um this is going to be a whole other video because there's just so much to get into so i'll just give you like example so let's say monday would be bathrooms some people have one bathroom some people have two some people four or five who knows we have three bathrooms so i'm like monday is bathroom day so we're taking the toilet the toilet seats off we're scrubbing down the toilets we're scrubbing the tiles we're clean, cleaning the floors we're washing all the baseboards we're cleaning the showers we're cleaning the bathtubs mirrors all the things and i'm changing the um the garbage in the bathroom all that stuff and then on mondays our our bathrooms are are so fresh and so clean clean you can eat off the floor you can eat off the toilet seat and then that's clean for the whole week yeah there's little things we need to clean up here and there but it's like that deep clean for the bathrooms is on monday and then tuesday would be like bed sheet day type of thing so that's when everybody's bed sheets and everybody's pillowcases and everybody's comforters all bedding gets cleaned and then everybody's beds are clean for the week and then wednesday would be the day that i don't know i'm trying to like that you mop you know even though i mop every single day because it's like I'll, I'll vacuum under the table and stuff and then i'll, I'll mop so it's just it's, it's gonna look different for every every family but basically having a weekly schedule that you stick to and then you just you do those things and then throughout the day there's just like little little blocks of you just maintaining and just picking things up and not you literally just cleaning all day every single day that is just it's not fair it's not sustainable you're not gonna be at peace you're not gonna be feeling happy and joyful and so i feel implementing a cleaning routine would really benefit you this one is simple and not simple because people are so different some people are like super attached to things love things and some people are just very minimalistic and just like eh, i don't need a third way um declutter like declutter literally once every two weeks where it's just like get rid of things you know because i feel like that causes a lot of frustration and stress in a house too where you just have things everywhere and it's just like oh my gosh like i can't breathe in here like i'm drowning and stuff and so it's just like have a habit of just decluttering where it's like okay cool we just bought we just bought some new undies for everybody let's get rid of the old ones we just we just bought socks let's get rid of the old ones um all these toys that's that's a, that's a whole other video but um and but i i do want to touch on that a little bit in this video um so yes just decluttering getting into the habit of always decluttering and just getting rid of things okay this one you're gonna thank me <laughs> i'm just kidding but this is so important this is so important you have to get into the habit of putting things back when you're done with it like just put it back like i know it sounds so simple but it's like it's a big thing for some people because i used to be that person i was that bobby that bobby pin person where you've seen bobby pins all over the house and the makeup just left there and just random things left wherever i did it it was just left there and i was and i got to the point where i was like okay this is not cool like what the heck amanda like just put it back will you use something when you're done with it put it back where it belongs because that minimizes literally all the clutter and just random stuff everywhere and that also teaches your children an extremely important lesson because when it comes to their, their toys what you're teaching them is okay when you play with something when you're done with something you always put it back where it belongs because everything has a place 
okay, we're, we're using this ketchup. We're eating ketchup right now. We'll use it. When we're done, we put it back in the fridge. You need this butter knife to apply the butter on the bread. When you're done, you put this butter knife in the sink or you wash it and then you put it back in the drawer. Like everything has to always be put back. And so I, anyway, that's another big thing for kids when you're teaching them how to put back their toys. And I want to get into that a little bit in this video. Um, and then lastly, don't do it alone. Like you don't have to do any of this alone. There are so many child age appropriate, like, um, responsibilities and just involving your children in it. First of all, like your children love you so much. Like they follow you around all day. They're watching you all day. They want to be you. You're the best person in their eyes. You're perfect to them. You can do no wrong. They love you so much. So they're already, it's just natural. They're just watching you and following you and wanting to do everything you do all day. So it's like, be intentional with that. Like take advantage of that and, and really pour into them and teach them how to do these things. Like it's going to benefit them so deeply. So when it comes to toys this is this is my thing i i don't like a bunch of toys and i remember there was a time especially when my girls were younger uh when my girls were like three and one yeah and valor was just like a newborn around that time we had every toy you could think of we had we owned the entire tar target toy section amazon everything like we had all of the toys and i just remember how crazy it was all the time like all the time it just looked like oh my gosh like explosions in my um in my living room in the bathroom like there was toys everywhere so once i started learning about different things uh, we got rid of plastic all plastic toys we got rid of like all the lights and the overstimulating like a b c d oh that's that's what those type of toys sound like to me all that stuff <laughs> we got away with all that stuff and so i adapted this more simplistic way of living this more minimalistic style where i'm just like in love with wood toys and in love with open-ended toys, in love with toys that they can be extremely creative. So anyway, that was a few years ago. What our toys look like now is we have we have wooden blocks, we have magnet tiles, um, <clears throat> we have like felt fruit. Um, my daughters have the little woodsy sets; they love it. And and Nerf guns, and that's pretty much it. That's what our that's what our toy roster is that the word that's what our that's what our toys consist of so we have one two three four five six they have six wooden bins everything has its place and they play with those toys and they love them and once they're done with their toys they put them back there's days of course they don't put them back and it's like hey put your toys back and then they put the toys back but every every toy has its place because we know what toys we have and it's not just like this crazy mountain of toys where it's just like realistically like my kids don't need all these toys so that's just a whole other thing so just revisit the whole toy situation and just see if there's things that you can rotate and put them away for a while and then once your kids have played with these toys for say like a couple weeks take those away and then put the other toys back um whatever works for you but i know that knowing what toys you actually have and want in your home and then them having a place it really helps because then your children know you know because it's like when you have all these toys you don't even know where they go how do you expect your kids to know where they go you know and so our system just looks like that we have the four wooden baskets so one two then two on top and then two smaller ones on top and we have our blocks in that one we have magnet tiles in this one we have the um the felt fruit and all that stuff and then we have all the woodsy stuff and then the two top ones just like some little miscellaneous little random things like a like a sonic toy and like a jackie chando <laughs> um and like bullets little things like that but everything has a place and when it's time for the kids to clean up they know exactly where everything goes and it's like a it's like a like okay a simple test because it's like all right there's magnet tiles all over put them away and then they're like okay they put them away my son honor loves the magnet tiles him and valor play with them the most honor's been like loving them and building like these amazing things like he's so good at it 
And so um, he's turning two soon. We're going to buy him some more for his birthday. <laughs> but um, he knows because like, the, so basically like there, so the way that our upstairs is laid out, is just like, there's a huge loft area and that's where their room is. So we have their bunk beds in there. They have a desk, they have shelvings for their books. And then they have, um, they have a whole section on the side where their toys are at. And then it's just like the hallway, our offices. And so when me and my husband are in our offices, like the kids, they're coming in and out, they're playing. And so sometimes there's just like magnet tiles all over the place and things like that. And for me, that's okay because of this. We have designated cleaning times. So there's only two for the kids and it's before lunch and then right before bedtime. So in the morning when the kids wake up, everything's clean. They're their toys were already put away because the night before um their room is clean everything's good and then they get up they fix their beds and so when they start playing with their toys everything is already organized and and ready for them to be played with so we go downstairs and make breakfast we clean up and then we'll come back upstairs so when it's time for them to come upstairs and it's upstairs time now and i'm gonna get on my computer and do a few little things like we have a whole daily schedule i i'll do a video about that soon also um this whole upstairs is just like free reign for them to play i have my like my mine and my husband we have our our door locked and then um we have a theater room and that door is locked too so the bathroom's open and mine and my husband's offices are open. If my husband's having a meeting or he really needs to get something done, he'll close his door. So they have just the whole hallway, their room, my office, all this, all this, all this space to play. Sometimes my office will just be completely full, filled with their toys. And then it's not crazy because like I said, the options are not like they have like all this stuff. It's just like there'll be magnet tiles everywhere or marbles, bullets, because my son loves his nerf gun and all day he's like woad it mommy woad it and he's telling me to load it because it's it's like hard for him to <laughs> to do it and so there's like magnet tiles and blocks and bullets and um i'm okay with that because i'm like i they know what's expected of them and i know that soon before we go downstairs for lunchtime or for whatever else is next in our schedule um, what's required of them is for them to clean it up and they do it. And so it's like, okay, cool. This is here. They're playing. They're having a good time. There's no reason for me to be frustrated with them because they're playing with their toys. And this is their yes. These are the yes spaces. These are the spaces where they can do these things freely. And mommy's not going to get all crazy with them because they're allowed to do this and they're responsible with their cleanup time. So I'll give them a little warning and say, hey, guys, 15 minutes, we're going downstairs to have lunch. So start cleaning up all your toys and you'll see Honor grabbing all his magnet tiles and he'll take them over there and I'll put them over there. And then come the 15 minutes, everything's tidied up and we're ready to go downstairs. Sometimes there's a struggle because they're just like they're not feeling like and we're like, we don't want to. We'll do it after. And sometimes I'm lenient. I'll let them. And then sometimes I don't because I want to, I want them to know that sometimes when we don't want to do stuff, we still have to do it. So let's just push past that feeling of not wanting to do it and let's just get done what we have to get done. But like I said, sometimes I'm just like, eh, just leave it. We'll do it. We'll do it after lunch or whatever the case is. But just being realistic with them, having realistic expectations and being consistent with it not just changing it up all the time or switching rules or you're like what the you said i could play in here you know like just being consistent with them being upfront, stay communicating with them or even if you're having a hard day like i was what was i trying to do um i was trying to write something i can't even remember fully but i was trying to do something and it was it was going to take a lot of like my mental capacity at the moment and all the kids were in here and it was just like really loud and they kept asking me to help them with this or do this. And I was just like, hey, guys, I was like, mommy just needs like 15 minutes. Take all your toys out. Go to the hallway. You can leave my door open. You can see me. Hi, I love you. <laughs> but I need 15 minutes just so that so I could think because I'm like, I can't really hear myself over all the fun that we're having right now. And, you know, and they're respected. And then it's just being vocal with your kids. They are humans. They have ears that work. <laughs> And they have brains that work. They have brains that are able to comprehend 
a simple ask and so it's just like being open and not just getting to that place where you're just like so flustered and you're just holding and it's like everybody get out just just get out i need to do something you know it's like it doesn't have to get to that point because just be communicating the whole time you know what i'm saying so those are our designated cleaning times for the kids is right before lunch and then right before bed so right before bed make sure all your toys are put away everything is good and when you wake up in the morning all your toys will be put away your teeth are brushed uh your hair is brushed whatever the case is whatever they do for their nighttime and then that's what's required of them and that just relieves so much frustration because then i'm not there just like feeling mad like why am i picking up <laughs> why am i picking up these toys i don't play with these toys you know like why do i have to do this and then for the younger for the younger children um it's all about being an example and modeling these things for them i read in a book once that by the age of four a child um should be fully acquainted with all the housely duties not that they're able to do it perfectly and do it themselves but they should already be acquainted with everything that's done in the house and know how to do it and again not fully like still need help and need support and guidance but by the age of four it's like they're just like they know what's up you know or even younger for my kids some of some of them it was it was younger like honor is literally one he he just blows me away he's one years old and he's just like he's so helpful he's extremely helpful he he knows how to do all the things because he he's he's it's being modeled to him by not only my husband and myself but by his three old, old older siblings where he sees it and like he just he knows he knows what comes next you know so when they're younger like when i had uh justice and victory and they were one and two years old they weren't capable of just like and especially because they had so many toys like they weren't just capable of just like oh okay like i'm like all right guys clean up and then they're just like yeah mom sure like no the, <laughs> no like they couldn't do that and so i'd sit on the floor and i was like all right girls i'm like it's cleanup time and i'd put on like a cleanup song and i made it all cute and i did most of the work but i involved them and i began showing them like okay when we're done with our toys we put it back so i would involve them like hey victory bring me all the cookies that you have and let's put them in the cookie jar and so i'll have the cookie jar there and she'll put all the cookies in there and i'm like now go find the cap she'll put the cap and i'm like okay now go put it on your on your kitchen and she'll go put it over there and i'm like all right justice grab all your princesses and put them back in the castle and she'll grab all her princesses and she'll put them back in the castle and then we'll play and do little things because at that point that was probably so much for them to do you know and i'm like all right now because literally everything was everywhere now we're gonna grab the puzzle pieces and just bring them all together and we're gonna put it in the ziploc bag and then go put it on your little table like that where it was just modeling you were doing most of it um but it was mod you were modeling it to them and showing them this is this is how you put things back and then once the girl like now the girls are eight <laughs> my baby she's so big just as eight and Vic's 36 they yes i still have to tell them stuff sometimes here and there but for the most part they know you know where it's like like uh, say I, I found a random book somewhere i'm like justice did you read that book she's like yeah i was like is that does that is that where it goes no and then she'll grab it and she'll go put it back where it belongs <laughs> you know just things that just being consistent and these are things that you've been teaching them since they were younger and then at a certain point you know the fruits show like they they just begin to do it by themselves they're seeing this being modeled to them every day and they're seeing mommy put her stuff back where it belongs and they're seeing mommy always cleaning up and everything always being in order and so it, they're just like okay i gotta have to do that too you know like we contribute we're a family we're a team we work together mommy doesn't have to do all this alone because we live here too and we're the ones making the mess not mommy <laughs> if you take anything away from this video just be change your perspective when it comes to cleaning and having your home clean and who are you doing it for like try and think of those moments where like like somebody's gonna i don't know like some somebody texts you or calls you and they're like hey can i come over real quick and like I don't know they want to come over real quick and your house is like a wreck you have never cleaned your house faster in those moments than you ever have just trying to clean your house like normally on, like on a regular day you will clean the heck out of that house you will get that thing you will get it done because you do not want somebody to come into your house and your house look like 
like a zoo like you don't want that and so that comes back to that question like who are you doing this for like who am i cleaning my house for and so it's like just have have your just try and change your perspective about cleaning who you're doing it for why you're doing it you know it even goes beyond just having your home clean like you're teaching i'm i'm gonna have five adult children one day and i want them to know how to clean their homes you know and how to have their homes organized and how to not struggle with like this oh my gosh i can't keep my house clean where it's like no you just you do these simple things every day you and and you could have your house clean you know like it's not like something that's not attainable or oh my gosh like like it feels like something that's so far-fetched like you can't reach it's like no do these simple things every single day involve everybody be diligent be intentional with your time and your house could be clean and your house could stay clean when you're teaching your kids um have those expectations clear you know and so one of our rules too is like when we're upstairs when mommy and daddy are upstairs everybody's upstairs like you you guys are not going to be downstairs in the school room by yourself you're not going to be in the kitchen by yourself you're not going to be in the living room by yourself just doing whatever you want because we have order in our home and when mommy and daddy are upstairs we're upstairs and we're having upstairs time you know so that kind of eliminates the whole like you cleaning downstairs and then you going downstairs and it's a disaster because you stepped away for a few minutes and so that's just another small thing um but yes that is how i keep my home clean and tidy and organized 90 to 95 percent of the time with kids without losing my mind i'm just like i love my kids so much and i'm like i don't want there to be chaos in my home in any way like the way it looks clutter everywhere or just screaming and and like this like uh quarreling and just being frustrated with my kids like i don't want them like i love my kids i enjoy my kids play with your toys have fun but clean up when you're done that's it you know and i believe if you implement these little things and you're consistent with them and you help your children you support them when they need that help you know like putting the things away like i'll do it. if you're having a hard time it's a lot of it's a lot of blocks to put away i'll sit here with you and i'll do it with you but you're gonna have to get to the point where you do it yourself okay you know and just things like that just know that just know that you don't it doesn't you don't have to be on the struggle bus um your house doesn't have to look like the the grove collaborative every single day <laughs> But it's going to be clean and it's going to be tidy and it's going to be organized. Everything has its place. And it's just like, oh, this is home. This is like, com this, I'm com I feel comfortable here. I feel at peace. I could just sit on my sofa and enjoy my kids and read books to my kids and do these things. I don't have to be stuck cleaning something all day because we have a system that works and everyone helps out. And I'm teaching my children how to be involved and how to do things too so i hope this video helped you comment below let me know if you plan on implementing any of the things that i shared here give this video a like uh subscribe all that stuff oh my gosh i feel so cringe saying all that but do that if you want to <laughs> so that's it for this video this is what i've curated in my home this is what i've cultivated in my home this is how i keep my home clean with littles without losing my mind i hope this video blessed you i hope it helped you in the comment section below let me know all your thoughts let me know what you plan on doing let me know if you plan on implementing any of these things i look forward to hearing from you and i will see you in the next one bye